Hi guys, bonjour mes amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard. If you don't know me by now, I have gardens, I have herb boxes, I have, I have a lot of stuff going on. Yes, um, I got a lot of thyme out there, and I've got some lemon. Lemon and thyme go really well together. My fridge is being annoying right now. So, I was thinking of making some lemon and thyme, a marinade for some wings. I'm gonna make some lovely, tasty wings. Who doesn't like wings? Right? Okay, you guys ready? Let's go. Chin chin. So, we're using the KitchenAid mini processor. I'll put a link in the description. Got it on Amazon. Cannot live without it in the kitchen, I'm telling you. All right, so I went and got some thyme. I've got two, about two tablespoons of thyme leaves in there. And uh, we need some minced garlic, so why not use the mini processor for that? I've got probably, let me see, six or seven. They're not big, they're small garlic cloves, you know. So, if you have large cloves, then do about four, four large ones. I'll put that in there. And I've got a good hefty teaspoon of kosher salt and a teaspoon of pepper. All right. Okay, this is the zest and the juice of one uh, pretty big lemon. So if you have small lemons, just do two of those. So there's that and a couple tablespoons of olive oil. All right. So we're gonna grind this up. I'll finish that and then I'll show you what to do. All right, look at that. Put it on the puree option and we got ourselves a nice, lovely, beautiful smelling marinade. I'll be back. Guys, so I've got uh, the wings cut apart, the drumettes and the uh, flats. So there's probably about 20 pieces of chicken in there. Um, just put your marinade in a gallon bag, a good, hefty, sturdy gallon bag because we're gonna massage massage it all the way through okay so do that put that in the fridge for a couple hours um the longer the better and i'll see you when i cook this i'll let you know how long i marinated it hey marinated them for about four hours yeah, look at that you know once in a while I went in there and rotated them around and rubbed them some more so we're going to use the uh, pan with the paddle and uh I, I was debating whether or not to use a paddle, but I'm going to use a paddle, but I'm going to turn that bottom burner off, okay? So it's going to take a little bit long. Look how pretty that is. <gasps> oh, God, it smells. Ooh. Okay, but I'm going to keep the bottom burner off because I don't want that stuff to get knocked off and then cook so hard on the bottom that it just disappears on me. So don't turn the bottom on, and let's do a three, okay? Just so it has time to just sit on the chicken and cook in there all right so it's going to take a little bit longer usually wings take about 28 30 minutes i'm gonna do this for a little bit longer but i'll check the, the temperature of the large pizza chicken in there to see if we reach 165 so i'll let you know how long i do that all right guys we're talking 45 minutes and if you notice i got number four there it's because i turned it on the last 10 minutes so let's check the temperature invest in a good handheld thermometer the biggest piece of chicken right here. Don't hit the bone. 165. Oh yeah. They're cooked. So I'm gonna plate it and taste it for you. We we'll bet. Hey guys, doesn't that look good? Look at it. It's got a pretty color. Alright, flapper for me. Look how beautiful that is. Oh boy. Let's do the skin off. Mmm. Mm. Wow. That's freaking hot. Very juicy and tender and yummy. That is very good. The thyme is not overpowering at all. If anything, I taste a lot of garlic and lemon and time in the background. So, it looked like a lot of it, but it's good. It's very, very good. No spicy at all. You could spice it up, put a little bit more black pepper in there, or red pepper flakes, but very, very good. It actually kind of tastes smoky, if that makes sense. Well, there you go, guys. There's another wing recipe. That's the keeper. I will be doing this again. Thanks for shopping. Bye-bye. Also, this would be good if you rubbed a pork tenderloin with this. It would be delicious. All right, see you later.